Hey guys, Lizardly here for day two of the Kind Thoughts Sun Cross Stitch. I don't know. Whatever it's called. Uh, I still haven't taken it out because I'm a lazy bum, but there's my progress from yesterday. <laughs> um, I have work today, so I probably won't get very far on this. And then tomorrow I'm actually going to be helping clean house, so I may not get to Magnificent Wizard. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to start when I get home tonight, but it's going to be like 8 o'clock, so probably not. So yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so this is a super short video. I apologize. Today was much busier than I had expected, and tomorrow's probably going to be busy too, so just a heads up. Uh, what question was I on? What was the high point of last month? Being told I'm being hired on permanently. What is the one thing about yourself you like best? Uh, um, my eyes. I like my eyes best. What is the worst psychological torture you can imagine suffering? Um, ooh, that's hard because, like, uh, psychological torture is, like, the worst I can imagine. I think that would be absolutely horrible and I don't even want to imagine what I think the worst one would be, so no, 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 no. What, if anything, is too serious to be joked about? I I think things like the Holocaust and 9-11, you know, things where, you know, that were tragedies, like, you know, a ton of people died. I mean, I don't even think it'd be funny to joke about um, Stony Brook, you know, and especially since it was about little kids. And, you know, like, the number of deaths don't compare to the Holocaust, but I don't think that makes it any less serious. So I don't think it's an, about the, the the number of deaths, although the more there are, the, the less I think it's funny. Or, you know, has the potential to be funny, because I don't think it's funny at all. But I just, like, murders and things like that, just, I, I don't think they should be joked about. Because the second you're okay with joking about it is the second that, like, I mean, we live in like a rape culture, you know, people joke about rape all the time and it's so hard for people to come out and say, oh, hey, I've been raped. You know, it's so hard for people to talk about it and it's because so many people think it's a damn joke and it's not funny. That's, I, I definitely think rape isn't something to joke about at all, personally. I just like, I, I like when people joke about funny things. Not, you know, horrible things. If you were guaranteed honest responses to three questions, whom would you question and what would you ask? Ooh. Um, I don't know. Because, like, a lot of the questions that you want to know the truth to, you don't really want to know the truth to. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so bad at these. What do you value most in a relationship? Uh, my friend's ability to make me smile. That's pretty much, like, the only way I can be someone's friend is if they can make me smile. Like, if all you do is make me upset or feel bad about myself or feel bad about everything in general, we can't be friends. And that's not to say I can't be friends with someone who is depressed, because Damn it, I have had a lot of friends who've been depressed in their lives, and you know what? They are just as kind, as nice as anyone else. Yeah, you know, they might be a bit of a downer at certain times, but everyone is like that at moments, okay? And holding that against them is despicable, you know? Like, people who are depressed are the ones who really need family and friends around them the most. So, yeah. Just be able to make me smile, and we're good. <laughs> Do you have any close cousins? In proximity, but I'm not really close to any of my cousins, no. Are they older or younger than you? I have one cousin that's older than me who's related to me through um, a marriage on my mom's sister's side. So we're not blood related. Um, and I think all the other ones are younger than me. <laughs> well, well, no, no, she's a great cousin, so I don't know if that counts. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, if you could trade places with anyone in the world, who would it be? Someone who's a dude, because, yeah. What is your motto in life? You know, I really like a day is wasted without laughter. Or or maybe even like a day is wasted without smiling, because I can deal with that too. Name a song that always makes you sad. Oh, oh, it's Tim McGraw. Um, 
Don't Take the Girl? Is that what it's called? Let me Google it. I want to make sure. So Tim McGraw, Don't Take the Girl. I really hate typing one-handed. <laughs> um... Yeah, Don't Take the Girl, that song. Oh, man, that song gets me. Like, I, I definitely recommend you listen to it. I will say, uh, when I was very young, I didn't understand what he was singing about. Like, I just thought it sounded, you know, fun. So, you know, I would, I mean, it's a country song, so just so you know. <clears throat> but, um, it at first, it's, you know, this girl starts hanging out with a father and son. And the father and son are going to go fishing. And... <clears throat> the dad's like, you know, oh, we're going to take her with us. And the, the boy was like, no, don't take her with us. No. And then eventually they fall in love. And, uh, and then it's, you know, don't take the girl. Like I want her with me now rather than don't take her with us. And, uh, they get held up in a parking lot and he's like, you know, here are my keys. Here's my wallet. Take everything. Just don't take her, leave her alone. And they make it through that. And then she's pregnant and she's having a baby and the doctors are saying that it looks good for the baby, but not the mother. And he's like, you know, do anything. Take me in place of her. Just don't take the girl. And she doesn't make it. The baby does, but she doesn't. And it's just, oh my God. Like, it's such a beautiful song and it's so depressing and it is realistic. You know, there are a lot of women who die in childbirth and it's so depressing, but it's so beautiful. And Tim McGraw has such a gorgeous voice. I'm getting tears in my eyes just thinking about it. Oh. Okay, most prized possession you have. Okay, well, I don't think you can possess a pet. Tessa is not something I own. She is my cat. So, most prized possession. I don't know, my Pokemon cross stitch? Because that would be one of the things I grabbed if the house was on fire. <laughs> Do you still wear a piece of clothing you wore during childhood? Uh, I have a lot of shirts from when I was in like middle school and high school, so yeah. Uh, that black dragon shirt I have, the sleeveless one that's black and white, that one was actually my sister's when she was in high school and I was in middle school, and then she didn't want it anymore, and I was like, uh, I want it, so it's mine, and it has been for many, many, many years now. Um, and then I, I have a ton of shirts from high school. I just, I don't really like shopping, and if the clothes still fit me and they're not destroyed, like, why replace them? <laughs> also, I'm cheap, so... Uh, describe your childhood days. I've already talked about them. What are you allergic to? Cats, dogs, and mosquitoes. So, woohoo. Which are your favorite fruits? Uh, green bananas are my favorite. Uh, specifically, got, uh, no, Granny Smith apples. Those are so good. Um, I, I loved bananas growing up to the point that I would eat, like, one every single day. And now, like, I still like the taste, but the texture just makes me sick. So, I, you know, I'm not that big on them anymore. Um, yeah, I'm more of a vegetable person than a fruit, to be honest, because all the other fruits I'm thinking of, I don't like. So, <laughs> have you watched Sex in the City? No. I love Sarah Jessica Parker, especially when she was in, um, Girls Just Want to Have Fun. Is that the one she was in? Where she, she danced? I think. I think it was that one. Whatever one it was in, I loved her in it. But I just, I never saw the appeal of the TV, of that TV show. Uh, first friend you ever had, and are you still friends with them? Uh, that one I know I've already answered. Uh, are you a jealous person? Not really. Um, Megan's been telling me a lot about a friend she has that a lot of people actually mistook, mistook for me at first because I guess we look similar enough. And, I mean, she's told me about some of the inside jokes they have, and I'm like, yeah, that sounds funny, but, you know, like, I wasn't there, so I couldn't really experience it in the moment. And I'm just happy for her. Like, I'm always happy when my friends make new friends, because I know how amazing it is to make new friends. So, you know, like, so long as, you know, I'm still one of Megan's best friends, I'm totally okay with people having more than one, because I do as well. So, I'm cool with it. But as soon as she, you know, like, gets a new best friend and I'm no longer a best friend, then I will be very upset and jealous. <laughs> do you lead people on just to get your way? I don't think I do. I, I, oh, sorry, right there, I'll, I, I put this stitch one to the left. It should have been one more to the right, so that's the only problem. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I mean, I've had people do that to my friends, and I still hate them to this day for that. 
So I just, if I have done it, I wasn't aware of it. Because I think when you lead someone on, it's because you're doing it on purpose versus, you know, if you don't realize that this guy has a crush on you and, you know, you're just like teasing him and he thinks it's you you're flirting. Like, I don't think that's your fault. And I mean, I, some guys aren't very clear, actually, and some girls aren't very clear when they, you know, have a crush on someone. So, you know, I don't think it'd be fair to be like, oh, you let me on when they had no clue about it. So, yeah. Uh, name three things you have never done and don't want to do. Uh, bungee jumping for sure. Don't want to do that ever. Um, I don't want to fly an airplane. It's <laughs> like, it would probably be super cool, but I just like every, every once in a while I have a really bad flight where I get like a really bad headache and my ears start to hurt or I start to get motion sickness. And I just don't want to chance it. Like, I know I would have my co-pilot, my co-pilot, my co-pilot. And, you know, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So, no. And I don't want to um, be a professional hockey player. <laughs> uh, these next questions are a little uncomfortable. I'm not going to answer them. And I'm not going to answer these ones either. These are extremely personal questions. This is not okay. Uh, if you could have dinner with any three people, whom would you choose? Alive or dead? I would pick my maternal grandfather, Patton, and I think Martin Luther King would be pretty cool to have there. I could have three totally different conversations with them and they'd all be great. And that's going to be the end of the sun day two. I still don't know. Like, because I titled, I, in the title I put sun, but when I actually made the image for YouTube, I put, you know, a, a day is wasted without laughter. But that won't fit on the title. So I don't know. This one! <laughs> um... I only got about I only got about an hour and a half of work done. Uh, it was really busy this morning, so yeah. Uh, I am going to go do the narration. If I get home with enough time, I might do some more, but just in case, you know, I want to get it done so I don't have to worry about it. Um, yeah, so I don't know what you guys should expect for tomorrow's video. Probably more of this sun one rather than Magnificent Wizard, so. Yeah, I mean, although, for all I know, what we're doing could take more than a day, so it might be more than just tomorrow, but at least it's still floss tube, right? Uh, <laughs> I was really looking forward to those three days, to be honest, but if we're going to be really busy, you know, I don't want to get like, oh, hey, I got half an hour of footage for Magnificent Wizard, because that's like a, f a four, four minute clip. Yeah. I think it was 30 minutes gets condensed down to like three and a half minutes to four. It's, yeah. <laughs> it goes by really fast for you guys, but you know, I put a lot of time into these. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I apologize. I can't tell you guys what I'm going to video tomorrow. For all I know, I won't have time to do anything except for like, hey, this is random part seven. Sorry. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, like, subscribe, share, comment, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video where I have no idea what I'll be doing.